Derby County statement and the news today, if you missed it, that Richard Kill is going to miss the rest of the season following an incident that emerged last night where two of Derby County's players were arrested on a charge of drink driving. It turned out that Richard Kill was in one of the cars. Initially, there were reports that he'd broken his wrist, but since then it turned out that he sustained a serious knee injury, which is going to prevent him from playing until the end of the season. Derby issued a very strong statement condemning the actions of Richard Kill and of the players. Their manager, Philippe Koku, went in front of the press earlier today. Here's what he had to say. That's his early stage to say it, but if we, if we say he will be out the rest of the season, it's a very serious injury, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, and have you spoken to him? Do you know how he's feeling? I've spoken, yeah, he, he was in there for a short moment, and uh, I've spoken briefly, because there's a lot going on at the moment, of course. Uh, how, how is he? What's his reaction? He's extremely down, of course, yeah, because he, he, he realizes yeah, what's going on for him personally and, of course, as a responsible player, as, as a captain in, in the team, uh, that he's not part of the team anymore. And, and yeah, of course, that, that does something with, with the player. You talked earlier about, you know, you left it to senior players to take responsibility. Does he feel that feeling that he, he should have been the, the person responsible for making sure nothing like this happened? I think he feels uh, responsible, yeah. Uh, uh, like I said, more, more senior players always have to step up and uh, take responsibility. And, and now it's, 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 it's uh, got a huge effect on him uh, personally. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's a lot to deal with uh, for him. Uh, that is Philippe Cocu, the Derby County manager, talking about the situation. Uh, he has spoken with Richard Kyo, who's obviously in a bad way about this, and rightly so. <coughs> he wasn't yeah. driving uh, one of the cars, uh, but he was there. Tom Lawrence and Mason Bennett both charged for alleged drink driving after a crash involving Lawrence's Range Rover on a club-sanctioned night out club sanctioned evening out it seems they went bowling 8 o'clock everyone went home the club sort of did everything right they laid on cars to bring the players home that would be the right thing I think for any sort of work activity like yeah. this Richard Keogh and several players decided we're not going home we're going to have a few drinks and then clearly did something un yeah, unforgivable yeah no. and I Richard know. Keogh I think it is too much to put the responsibility on him for the other players driving their car as much as he was the senior figure. They're two young players and he's the senior figure. Mm. We don't know the exact details, but he is going to pay a huge price for this, regardless of any charges that are coming mm. and what Derby County do. He's going to miss the rest of the season. He's 33 years of age. He was Mick McCarthy's man alongside Shane Duffy. Yeah. And Mick McCarthy had said that. John Egan had started the season brilliantly. No, Duffy and Kyo have done nothing wrong. They are the centre-back partnership and there's every chance that Ireland will qualify for Euro 2020, play their games in Dublin, and there's now every chance that he's going to miss that. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, the ramifications are huge for him personally in every way, and this is the sort of thing that could cost cost him his career. We don't know. We don't know how it's going to go for him if and when he does get uh, get back fit from this. So yeah, everything. It's, it's a terrible story. That far too often over the years, the relationship between professional football and alcohol hasn't ended well. It, mm. There's been too many stories that have emerged, and it's not many now, we have to say that now. Most of the things like Derby, you said, Derby have done everything right, they've, they've kept everything in-house, it's been a few drinks at the right time, no real dramas were, were, were supposed to have happened. And then this, this happened, and that has always been the case, that's maybe been, at times, the, the culture of, yeah, just one more, maybe overstep the mark a little bit, and the lads here have overstepped the mark in such a big way, it's... As I said, you said earlier on, you, you cannot, you not, cannot condone what's happened. I know Richard, Richard Kyo, you're saying there, yes, wasn't driving. Mm. Legally, he's done nothing wrong. No, but, he's not going to face any charges but, at but all we know, this. But we know, as captain, and that, that real experienced player that's within that dressing room, this should not have happened. And that's where, as I said, it, it's the sort of thing that, that could define his career. I hope it doesn't. Mm. Um, and I'm sure, knowing of him, I know, I know him a little bit, I don't really know him awfully well, but attitude was something that would, would have always been said to me, his first class, rarely ever injured, always on the training ground, always leads by example, 
and uh, it's just a it's just a mess, isn't it? It's, and it's a bad situation. It does mean from a footballing point of view, and it's secondary at the moment, but it'll become very much at the focus over the coming weeks. Mick McCarthy named the squad on Tuesday for the trips to Georgia and Switzerland. The strength has been that back five. They started every game so far. Yeah. He's now going to be going to Tbilisi without Enda Stevens suspended, and it seems without both Richard Kyo and Shane Duffy. Yeah. Now, it's worked out quite well in that he started Kevin Long and John Egan in the last friendly. But still, the two of them together are so untested. Definitely. And, and I think it probably puts a little bit more emphasis on somebody like Glenn Whelan that's going to play ahead of those mm. as, as the defensive uh, partnership as well. That Take Glenn out the side now. We don't have a lot of experience really throughout the team. Serious experience. And, oh, no, sorry, and Seamus Coleman, should I say. Seamus Coleman will be part of that back four and you're going to rely on him as well. But I, I'd, I'd say more of someone like Glenn Whelan that's going to have to sit, they're going to have to do a disciplined job in both those games. So there is going to be more of an emphasis on him now, and and I think he has taken that on anyway. He's taken that mantle on, but it's going to. Be, it, it's, you're right in saying that. That has been. I think it's been the the, the hallmark, or certainly the, our our strongest point in the last few years, our defensive unit and how how we've played and how we've beaten teams. It's always been by the odd goal mm. if we're going to win a game. We're not going to go and blow a side away two and three nil. So it has to be about how we're going to keep sides out. So this is. Uh, it is a blower, yes, of course it is, but I, I just hope we've got enough within within that squad to, to get through uh, the, the two games and, and manoeuvre them well. Yeah.